Good evening. This is Alejandro Marbona on behalf of the US Corporativo. Thank you for being here. Let's take attendance. Everybody, please put your cameras on and full names displayed. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Alba Noemi. Not present. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Ana Maria. Not present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Not present. Claudia Lisette Canales de Enriquez. Claudia. Not present. 
Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Thank you. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Thank you, sir. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thanks. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Thank you. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Not present. Mariana Carolina Cinero Reyes. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Thanks. Naftale Carolina González. Present. Thanks. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. También. Not present. Zaina Mara Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mabel Atin Castro. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, Teacher, ya estoy conectada. Ya viene. Okay. Let me see. I see more people here. Alba Noemí Cortés de González. Present. Thank you, Alba. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivani. Present. Carla Ivani Cabrera Serranos. Okay. Claudia Elizabeth Canales de Enriquez. Not yet. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thank you. I think it's Renee and Rina are missing. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Por un momento me asusté que va como no. Not present como cinco en solo. So, thank you very much for your commitment. Okay. So, um, teacher, I am finishing my meeting at work. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and start with uh, today's class. I hope that you have had a great weekend. How was your weekend, guys? Good? Bad? So-so? How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal estuvo? Good, very good. Okay, very good. Did you go to the beach? So yes, I am. Ah, I yes. go to the beach. <laughs> uh -huh. How do we answer that question, guys? With did you? And the answer is? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I and the negative? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Or no, I didn't. So, guys, let me ask you one more time. Did you go to the beach this weekend? Yes, no, I did. I didn't. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. No, right, I didn't. Well, congratulations to the one who did. And maybe next weekend for the ones who didn't. Now, what was yesterday's? Well, yesterday's. No classes yesterday. What was um, last Friday's activity? Uh, Meltdown. Uh, I did. Uh, I did. Uh, mm -hmm. Hicimos. ¿Cómo se dice hicimos? I did do. I did do. Right. <laughs> I did do. WH questions. Meltdown. WH questions in present or in past? Mm -hmm. In past. In past. Um, okay. Barely. Not entirely, but let's go ahead and work with this. What we're going to start with is with yes, no questions. How do you say, ¿Qué hiciste el fin de? What did you do on weekend? What did you do? Okay. You know what? Let's be more specific. What did you do on Saturday? On Saturday. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me, please. What did you do on Saturday? What did you do, what did you do, do on Saturday? On Saturday. And que hiciste el domingo? What do you do on Sunday? 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 Do or did? Did. did. Uh -huh, that's did. right. What did you do on Sunday? Okay, so here, uh, how do you say a que hora fuiste? What time, what time did you go? What time did you go? When? Did, you, did you went or did you go? 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 Why? Auxiliary. auxiliary. Mm -hmm. So we have the auxiliary, then the verb is in the base form. What did you do? In this case, I'm leaving the, the space open because if you say, I went to the beach, if you want to know the time, what time did you go to the beach? Okay, that's why I'm leaving, leaving it open. If I say, 
I played soccer. What is the answer? The, the question, ¿a qué hora jugaste fútbol? What time did you play soccer? That's right. I ate pupusas. What time did you eat pupusas? So this is why it's open. Depending on what your classmate is saying, depending on lo que les diga su compañero, así ustedes hacen la pregunta. Now, ¿con quién fuiste? Who did you go with? Who did you go with? That's right. ¿Qué hiciste? What did you do? Okay. Excellent. What other question can we ask? ¿Cuántas veces fuiste? Okay. How do we say that? How oh, many... Many How many, many times did you go? There you go. How many times did you in the verb? How many, How many did How you? Many. All right, guys. So we already covered this. How, How many is para countable or uncountable? How uncountable. Uncountable. Countable. How many? Countable. Mm -hmm. And how much? Uncountable. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you say I ate pupusas, ¿cuántas pupusas te comiste? How many? How many? How many did you eat? How many? How many? Y después del many? Va de lo que están hablando. How many pupusas did, pupusa? did you eat? Good. ¿Cuántos chores te comiste? How, How many, many chores did you eat? Did you eat? Oh, perfect. Uh, Ana María, roll your window up. Roll your window up because of the wind, please. But thanks for your participation, though. All we hear is because of the wind. Okay. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Aquí tienen unas preguntas de yes, no. Pregunten qué hicieron y luego traten de sacar más información. ¿Con quién fuiste? ¿Cuántas te comiste? ¿Cuántas te tomaste? Uh, ¿A qué hora fuiste? All right? Um, go with. You're going to start with what did you do on Saturday? ¿Qué hiciste el sábado? Yo tal cosa. Ok. Y bombardeamos a esa persona con las preguntas de follow-up. Any questions to me? ¿Alguna pregunta para mí? What? Mm -hmm. Después no, no quiero entrar a los breakout rooms y todo el mundo y qué hacemos. So, do you have any questions? Teacher. No, no. All right. No. I need a volunteer Teacher. to explain what we're doing. No les creo todavía. Algún voluntario que me explique lo que vamos a hacer. No vamos a preguntar entre nosotros y al que le pregunten. Le podemos ir, esa es la misma pregunta que le hacemos, pero con respecto al tema, si alguien fue a comer, cuánto, cuál, ¿qué comiste? Qué, ¿Con quién fuiste? ¿A qué hora fuiste? Uh -huh. Ya okay. sé. Thank you, Fernando. Hey, turkey face, my friends. We're going to have 10 minutes for this activity. Let's go ahead and practice this simple past, okay? Go for it. Three people per room. Accept the invite, please. By the way, welcome, Rina, and welcome, um, Alfonso. Thank you for joining. Go for it. Okay, what did you on Saturday? What did you do on Saturday? What did you do on Saturday? Uh, I visit the Liverpool Beach. Good. I visit like every day or I visit it? I visit it. Uh-huh, exactly. Give the past. 
Now we must start this. Ask him questions, please. Mm -hmm. I going, I going in class of. All right. Pause. Here you can ask Rene Alfonso. He said he went to the beach. How do you ask? A qué hora fuiste a la playa? What? What time? What time did you? Leave us out. Y el verbo. Ah, no. ¿A qué, ah, a qué hora what? playa libertad? Yeah. We're no. missing something. <laughs> what time? What time did you go? Correct, my friend. Great party. job. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So then, para que le pregunten uh, qué hizo en la playa. Uh -huh. Ahí está en el chat. Vamos uh -huh. a ver. What did you go? Eh, no sé. What did you no, do? What did you do? On the what did you do? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y ahí usted puede uh, decir, con mi pecado, right? Uh -huh. Cualquier uh -huh. cosa, lo que haya hecho. Uh -huh. En la playa. <laughs> okay, now, great. Just make sure instead of I eat, is I ate because it's the past. All right, so great job. Pueden hacer lo mismo. No dejen pasar a Alfonso. O ya saben lo que le van a preguntar. Él ya sabe que van a contestar. Pregúnteselas a él. Luego, en el mismo contexto, se lo preguntan a Reina. Les hacen las follow up questions. Y luego a Daisy. Okay, okay. Do, it. do it. Let me Let me see what you can do. Vaya, okay. René, entonces empezamos con usted. Le preguntamos, what did you do on Saturday? Y usted nos responde. Así es. Pregunte. Ok. Eh, hello, Daisy, hello, René. What did you do on Saturday? I visit uh, Libertad Beach. The Libertad Beach. La Libertad, that's it. Ah, okay. La, no se traduce porque es parte del nombre, La Libertad. Ah, sí, ah, eso está. <laughs> ok. De ahí me preguntan ustedes, Rita o Daisy, eh, what time did you go to the beach? Nice. Ahora sí estamos hablando. Great job. Remember, who did you go with, what did you do, etc. Keep it up. You got seven minutes. ¿Cuántos años? How many years did you celebrate? Okay. Uh -huh. No, sería did she celebrate. No. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos años? Quiero ver cuántos años celebró ella. Sí, sería cuántos. How old are you now? No se compliquen. No se, no, se, no se trata de salir tanto, muy bien, que quieran explorar. Pero, ajá, ahí sería, how old are you now? How ah. old are you now? Ah. Pero es que hablamos de la sobrina. How old is she now? Ah, okay. How old are qué? How old ¿Qué tan is vieja she? Ella? ¿Qué tantos años tiene? Now. now. Because you're talking about a birthday, right? Yes, is she now, okay. Or is she now? Okay. Grace, okay. Estamos en break rooms. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She is. ¿Qué edad tiene? She now five years old. She she is five years old. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right. You don't have to. You don't have to write it down, guys. Just. Do it as natural as possible. Ah, okay. Uh, what did you did? What did you eat in your niece's birthday? I eat okay. cake. Okay. I add. Uh -huh. uh -huh. don't, guys, don't write it down. Just let it go. Don't write it down. I ate cake. <laughs> Great job. I like what I see. Good one, guys. Uh, Bye. Uh, Okay, how are you doing, guys? Okay, teacher, una consulta. Mm -hmm. Si sí, yo quiero decir, uh, fui a visitar a mi familia. Uh, Sería, I went my family or I went to visit my family. 
I visited. Solo eso. I visited. Ah, Porque okay. si tú visitas, obviamente está implícito que fuiste. Ah, ok. Entonces, ajá, that, that's a common, ah, vale, common question. Tú, Muy bien. So, I visited my, my family, my parents. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Now, how can you ask her a qué hora los visitaste? Uh -huh. uh, ah, no, tú. I when tengo que decir when ¿Sí? o solo <coughs> 6 p.m. at 6 p.m. at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right Casey sure. uh -huh. por ejemplo mm -hmm. who did you go with puedo decir I went I went along yes excellent Yeah, so great. That's exactly what you need to do. Keep it up, okay. attacking a uno y hagan, o sea, no, no, no literalmente atacar, ¿verdad? pero hagan <laughs> ese tipo de preguntas para que ustedes analicen el contexto y metan las preguntas así como una después de la otra. Muy bien, you got three okay. more minutes, guys. Keep it up. Okay. Pipo en casa. No. No, no, es que ahorita llevamos la relación del sándwich. Como fuiste a almorzar, ella te está preguntando con quién fuiste. No, pero ella no lo, no lo almorzó, lo sé, ¿no? <laughs> That's beautiful Spanish, guys. Ah, okay. Of it, very natural. I, um, I didn't go out. I you didn't. Can actually, say go. it different ways. You can say I didn't go out. I didn't negative. Go out. I stayed home. I, I didn't go out. I stayed home. Yeah. Oh, you okay. can use either or. One is negative. I didn't go out. Or you can say, I stayed home. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't go out. What can we ask, um, Carla Maria, if she stayed home? ¿Qué le podemos preguntar si se quedó en casa? Yeah. What time did you stay home? No. Exactly. What did you do? Uh, what did you do um, in your house? Yes. Uh-huh. What did you do in your house? Uh, ¿Qué hice en mi casa? Uh -huh. mm. I clean. Es que solo hice limpieza y me dormí. ¿Cómo se dice dormir? I sleep. Uh, in past? No. Sleep. Slept. I sleep. Ah. I sleep. Uh -huh. I sleep. Today? All day. All day. Mm -hmm. um, I slept okay. all day. I just slept all day. Okay. Did you see any movie? For example. Or uh, all day, all day. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Um, ¿qué más? Did you did you cook it? Did you cook? Cook. Mm -hmm. Did you cook? Yeah. Remember, did, so we have the base form. <clears throat> yes. Yes, I did. Now, um, wait. Add more information. I cooked. And what you cooked. What did you cook? ¿Qué cociné? Uh -huh. I rice. I guys. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got eighteen. Are we all here? Okay. Two volunteers, please. Me, Solo Sabrina. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, Sabrina. Thank you. One more. Me, Fernando. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Go for it, Saudi and Fernando. Improvise. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fernando. I, okay. What did you do on Sunday? On Sunday? Yes. Uh, I watched matches of soccer. I watched soccer. I watched, uh -huh. I watched soccer. I went to supermarket. I visited my... 
uh, that's home. You're, you're doing great, but now you're with the machine gun, con la metralleta. Let her ask you. So ah, okay. If, if, guys, if he said at the beginning, I watched soccer, question about that. Okay. Who did you, who did you watch soccer with? I watch soccer with my wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué partido viste? What? I don't know, partido. What did you match, watch? What match? Ah, what match? Uh -huh. What uh, match did you watch? Ajá. Uh -huh. Así. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I watch uh, Liverpool versus Manchester City. Okay. Y ahí podemos preguntar quién ganó, who won, right? But that's not great job, guys. Excellent. Round of applause. Good. Now, um, Fernando. Or you know what? I need one more person, please. One more volunteer. Come on, don't be afraid. Don't let me get my chicken out. Uh -huh. One more. Al que más le cueste. Me, teacher. Oh, Natalia, great. So, ask Sabrina, please. Ask a couple of questions to Sabrina. Okay. Sabrina, what do you do on Saturday? Saturday. I, I do a lot of, a lot of things. Did? I I did a lot uh -huh. of things. Sorry, I did. Um, I went with my sister super uh, to supermarket. Pause. Uh, and uh, let her ask you. Uh huh. I went to the supermarket. I the handle. Nastalia. Okay. What time did you supermarket, Sabrina? Almost there. Almost perfect. What time did you go to the supermarket? Repeat, Nastalia. What time do you go to the supermarket, Sabrina? To the I, supermarket. What time do you go to the supermarket? Can be fixed, but okay, great. Sabrina? I went to the supermarket at 10 p.m. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ya me la ayuda a comprar a las 10 de la noche. Let's Sabrina, I, I said AM, no PM. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sabrina, who did do you go to the supermarket with? Uh -huh. Who did you go to the supermarket with? I went to the supermarket with my sister. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. good. Thank you very much, uh, Sabri and Nafta. Hey, uh, listen up, guys. No sé si usted. <laughs> Perdón, yo no puedo ser juicioso. No sé si ustedes han visto en las redes sociales un video de un catedrático que se molestó bastante con sus alumnos y terminó usando yeah. palabras soez. Yes, so es. he was my teacher. Right. So, no estoy dando mi punto de vista porque no puedo. Sí, lo voy a dar, no, no me importa. No estuvo bien la manera en la que lo dijo. Mucho menos siendo una clase de ética. Pero pónganse la mano en la conciencia o donde quieran. Tiene razón. Mucha gente pide, quieren. Y el, y, el, y el esfuerzo también viene de los estudiantes, señores. Así que no se duerman. No les estoy diciendo lo mismo ni nada que ver. Ok, no me... Hey, Narbona. No, nada que ver. Pero sí quiero motivarlos a que no sean parte. Porque mínimo alguno de ustedes pensó, tiene razón, estos estudiantes, no sé qué. Pero cuando nos toca uno, no hacemos autocrítica. So, alguien me preguntaba hace poco, ¿cómo puedo mejorar? Y esta persona no es de aquí. No tiene tiempo para practicar. Solo se mete a las clases. No vuelve a tocar el cuaderno. No se prende los verbos. No se prende el vocabulario. Nada. Y así se puede, pero va a ser muchísimo más difícil. Es como tratar de correr 100 metros planos con obstáculos, chuña y en una calle empedrada. So, no va a ser placentero. Así que, guys, pónganse las pilas. Eh, yo estoy en la mejor disposición de ayudarlos, pero lo primero viene de ustedes. ¿Ok? Solo eso. Thank you very much. Ok, so let's continue. And we're going to start with unit 
three. Okay, no, no lloren, guys, que no les explique esto nomás. So, les digo de todo corazón. So, we're going to start with unit three. Go ahead and repeat after me, please. I will be able to make polite requests at the workplace. I will be able, able to make polite requests at the workplace. Will one, 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 one volunteer to read it, please. Me, Me Sabrina. Go, oh, Sabrina. Okay. I will be able to make polite requests at the workplace. Thank you. Guys, do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks? Do you usually help their tasks? What is the meaning of this? Uh -huh. Do you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. And yes, I do. Repeat after me, please. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué tan a menudo? ¿Qué tan a menudo tu compañero? ¿Le preguntas a tus compañeros de trabajo compañero, si necesitan ayuda? ayuda? Necesitan ayuda. Con sus tareas. In this case, ask, guys. It's not, all, not only preguntar, but it is also pedir. Pedir ayuda. Uh -huh. So, here. Okay, here it is. To ask for is pedir algo. Okay? Ask for help. Pedir ayuda. Ask for help. Right. Uh, pedir dinero. Ask for money. 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 Ask for money. Ask okay. for money. Tiene que llevar el for. Now, aquí es otra estructura. Porque tiene co-workers. Okay. Do you ever ask your brother to help you with your task? Do you often ask your mother to help you with your task? Aquí cambia porque lo que sigue es un sujeto. Okay, it's a little different. So, what is your answer to this, guys? Do you ask co workers to help you? How do you say co workers in Spanish? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. One person does. So, ¿cómo le dicen? Hey, ayúdame. Can I? Hacemos el paro. Can I help you, please? No es mala onda. Ay, por mí, mañana por ti. Ajá. Me la campaña, le digo yo. Ahí está, hacemos la campaña. So, there are many ways. Hacemos el paro, vato. And things like that, right? Um, sacate el almuerzo. Cosas así. So, in this case, guys, there are polite ways. What is the meaning of polite? Educado. Habla menos. Educado. Educado, amable, that's right. So we are going to be working with two different ways of asking polite requests. Vayan pensando desde ya, que al finalizar la clase se van a estar haciendo peticiones. ¿Ok? Siempre desde el ámbito del respeto, pero lo voy a dejar que se salga un poquitito del guacal. Porque quiero que se diviertan. So, say with me, please. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Yeah, pronunciation. The L is not pronounced. We're going to pronounce like this. Could, could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Now, if you hear me out, I don't say could you, como con D. Could you? Porque no va could you. It's could you. Could you? 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 Yeah, let's. Change it like this. Could you? Could you? Could you? Mm -hmm. could you? And then what do we have? Could you? Could you? Print out. What is print? Noun, verb. Uh, verb, right? Verb. The budget file is the oh, complement. 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 Why am I doing it like this? So you don't 
mess up with the pronunciation, but it is good ju. You know what? Good ju. Good ju. Good ju. Here you can change it. Aquí lo pueden cambiar, mis chicos. Mis chicos, qué bárbaro. Uh, guys, <laughs> por cualquier cosa. Could he, could she, could my mom, could your father. Este es su sujeto. Lo dejo could you porque estamos hablando entre nosotros para que lo practiquen. Pero quiero que sepan que ese you se puede sustituir por cualquier sujeto. Mm -hmm. That's the subject. So, say with me, please. Could you print out the budget file? Could you print out the budget file? Out the budget file? Right. What type of requests do you ask your classmates or, or your co-workers? ¿Qué tipo de requests hacen? ¿Qué le podrían pedir? Enviaste the annotation of the class? Uh, yes. Can you get me the coffee? Your classmates. Hey, what up? Confianza. Can you review notebooks? Aha. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying. This thing is going crazy today. Oh, here it is. All right. So let's do it, guys. Let's translate them. Could you give me a coffee? Could you give, Could you give me, a, me coffee? a coffee? What else? Could you give repeat me the teacher say? No sé cómo sería. Digo que el profesor dijo. Ah, me podría decir. Could you say me? Tell me. What the teacher said. It's a little bit more complex, but yes. Could you give me sweet bread? Could, yeah, sweet bread or pastry. pastry. Could you give me pastry. what is your favorite pastry, Hector? No. No. What is tu pan dulce favorito? Could you give me a <laughs> semita perecha? A torsonadora. <laughs> Honrada también. Could you give me a semita a torsonadora? So guys, this is what you're gonna do. I'm not gonna ask for much witty witty right now. Um, you are going to work as much as you can. All right? And I'm gonna give you ways of saying yes, okay? Now, to say yes, we can use, repeat after me, sure. 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 Sure, sure. 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 No problem. Sure. No, problem. No, problem. no problem. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. In a minute. 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 Just give me a sec. 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 Sec for second, right? Un segundo. Now, what other ways do you think we can use to say see? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, if you pay attention. Right? Uh, come again, please, Hector. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So. If you notice, we don't, hey, could you give me a coffee? Yes. Right? That's not the correct answer for this structure. You say phrases. Right? Mm. Could you give me a coffee? Sure. Mm. Could you tell me what the teacher said? No problem. Y luego, obviamente, le digo, could you give me a semita torsonadora? Right away. Right away. <laughs> okay? So, your challenge, not now. But your challenge is going to be for you to find out new ways of answering. Su reto va a ser que ustedes, aparte de las que yo les he dado, busquen otras, por lo menos unas dos más. Okay? Now, in order for us to, to say no, 
how do you think you can say no? No way. No way, yeah, but it's a little bit rude. Un poquito rude, <laughs> isn't it? Never, nunca. You can say, for example, sorry. I can't. I can't. I can. Sorry, okay. I can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Finisha. Sorry. Mm. Now, you can start with sorry, but the, then you can add whatever you want. So you can say, for example, sorry. ¿A quiénes de ustedes, chicas, les ha llegado un hombre? a quererlas invitar a un café o lo que sea y lo tienen que dar el home run not thanks yes you can say no thanks but what else quienes han dicho la, la, la frase no puedo tengo novio sí. ok mm. there you go sea o no sea cierto la dicen not you right porque <laughs> sorry I have a boyfriend. Alguna vez los han aproximado en Metro Centro, en galerías, a para darles o venderles algo? Yes. ¿Qué dicen? No thanks. No, I didn't. No money. <laughs> okay, sorry. But no, nunca le dicen eso. A la próxima. Sorry, next time. Next time. Uh -huh. What else? Sorry, no money. No otra ocasión. Uh -huh, that, that's the one Another next time. Mm -hmm. uh, no me digan que no. Sorry, I'm late. Voy tarde. Nieguenlo. Qué prisa. Lo aplicamos para todo. Okay. So, this is actually the way that you answer, guys. Um sorry i can't normally you would say sorry if you want to be polite or you can say unfortunately repeat after me please unfortunately unfortunately, unfortunately. comma and then whatever you want to say unfortunately oh. i can't unfortunately unfortunately i have a boyfriend no yo vea that's the example uh, well unfortunately i'm late Unfortunately, I mm -hmm. So normally when you say no, you explain the reason why. Generalmente cuando dicen que no, explican el por qué. Mm -hmm. Y como nos preguntan bien amablemente, no salimos con patada al pecho, sino que por eso hacemos frases para suavizarlo, como sorry, unfortunately, y luego explicamos el por qué. Ok. So, this is what I wanted to do, guys. Uh, you're going to have approximately um, approximately 15 minutes, okay? I just wanted to work with this a lot in order for you to practice this structure. And I wanted to give me... Uh, vamos a ver si lo pueden hacer. I'm pretty sure you can. Seven examples. No, eight. Eight, 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 eight. Eight. eight examples with could you. Four, you're going to say yes with different answers. And four, you're going to say mm -mm. no. No. So you're going to use could you. That's it. Could you. Estamos? Yes. Yep. How many affirmative answers? Eight. Eight. Four. Eight. Four. Affirmative. Eight. Four. Four. Affirmative. Four. 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 Affirmative. And four. how many negative? Four. 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 Can, Four. Can you repeat the answer? No. No. Different answers for different sentences. Now, try to have fun, but don't be disrespectful. Okay? Good. Go for it, guys. Go ahead and accept the invite and try to have fun. Uh,
Carla Ivania and Chaconda García Ana Maria. Did you get an invite? No me ha mandado para entrar, teacher. All right, just a sec. One moment. Go for it. Oh, you see? Could, could you make purchases in the supermarket? Could you? Could, could, you, help, could, you, could, you, could you help you with? Let's do one work? by one, guys. One by one, the answer. So one. The answer, one, the answer. Make sure you write them down, all of you, please. Mm -hmm. um, y esta pudiera ser una, could you help me win my report? Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely, yes, Nostalia. Okay. And what is the answer to that? Could you help me with, with my report, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Yes. Yes? Yes. Or... Can we use yes or we have different phrases? Problem, maybe. Exactly. In these in this type of questions, guys, we normally don't say yes. Mm -hmm. We use other phrases. Next one, please. Mm. Son cuatro aquí, hagan una, una cada uno. Oh, 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 Nosotros podemos usar. Yo tengo oh, otra. Podría ser, ¿could you lend me your PC? Could you lend me your PC? Yes. Everybody with the same information. You're doing great. Four affirmative with answers, four negative with answers. Yes. Go for it, guys. Could you let me? Lend, L-E-N-D. Absolutely. Help each other out. Great job. Um. Right. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Could you... Would you would you go with me to the supermarket? Could you? Would you go? Would you go oh. with me? Would or could? With. Oh. Estamos con could ahorita, no would. Could yeah. you? Would, would you, you go, go? Would you go with, with me? me? Say it again, please. Would you go? Está, ahí está ocupando would con W. Ah, could. Sorry. Could. Could mm -hmm. you go with me? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Could you go with me to the supermarket? Yeah. Or could you go to... Could you come? It's more natural. Could you come to the supermarket with me? Uh, you come. Está bien como lo tú, tú lo tenés. Ahí puede estar antes o después. No importa. Pero could you okay. come to the supermarket with me? Uh -huh. Okay. And the answer to that? Absolutely. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. Make sure you all have the same, uh, Hector, Miriam, and Sabrina. Make sure you all have the same examples. Los mismos ejemplos todos. Okay? Okay. okay. So, okay. for affirmative, with answers. For negative, with answers. Great job, guys. Continue. Okay. okay. Any questions before I leave? No, no question. 
All right. Teacher, what, what? Eh, one question. In, 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 in la, la, la frase is that to ask for, puede servir para decir, could you to ask for a car or your car? ¿Podrías prestarme tu carro? ¿Queda bien en eso? Oh, in that case is, uh, could you borrow, could you borrow me your car? Could you borrow, B-O-R-R-O-W. Borrow your car. Make sure the no four. Problem. <laughs> no, no. <problem>. no. <laughs> Sorry, no, I can't. No problem. Yo no tengo car. I, I, uh. yeah, I not car. <laughs> Oh. Pues, Sorry, no. I don't have ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo podríamos don't. decir? Ni lo pienses, Tiche. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't even think about it. Uh, don't don't even think about una. it. Puede ser la respuesta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Or you can say something like, not in a million years. <laughs> not in a million years. You know, you, you can say whatever you want, pretty much. En las negativas es mucho más fácil sacar cosas más vocabulario. Sí, es que esas salen del corazón. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <risa> ok. Vaya. Eh... Ah, pero entonces creo que la dos estaría como mal porque estaríamos ocupando eso del borrow me. Es que usamos teacher. una teacher para preguntar eso, si me podrías prestar dinero. Ajá. Uh -huh. 10 dólares. Ok. Real quick, the thing is that you can use lend, L-E-N-D -E for that. Lend es como por un corto periodo de tiempo. Ajá, Generalmente, you lend, could you lend me your phone? Okay. Now, depende. Porque si le dices, could you lend me $100? I'll pay you next year. Ya el otro año ya es borrow. Ajá. Ah, Now, okay. No hay un límite de tiempo. <laughs> es Entonces, como... aquí en la pregunta tendríamos que decir como, por ejemplo, por una semana. Para, um, para usar lent, uh, no, 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 porque creo que ya con el lent le estás dando a entender que es por corto tiempo. Ajá, ok. Le das la esperanza de que le va Aunque a Aunque es mentira, pero va. Qué okay, bárbaro. Ok, you're doing great. Let me check another group. Continue. So you lent. Could you lend? Uh, ten dollars. Could you lend me? Ah, uh, could you lend me? You can say 10 bucks too. B U C K S. Bucks. Right? 10 bucks is the same as $10 informally speaking. Box. Box. Mm -hmm. Box. Okay. Now, the vocabulary that I gave you, I wanted to share it with the rest of the class whenever we go back, okay? okay. All right, keep it up. You're doing great. For okay. affirmative or negative. Go. Yes. Pero como José Antonio es buena gente, va a decir que sí. <laughs> or you let me money. Yes, uh, no problem. Call you <laughs> okay. Al cuánto por ciento. Entonces sería afirmar, afirmativa. That, uh, that one, guys, is. Uh, but just say no problem. You don't need yes. Just no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Solo si no problem. No necesita el, el sí. Ah, okay. okay. Problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Para decir en ese momento igual solo solo pon solo decimos at this at this moment o oh, podría ser yes. Depends. At this moment. What do you want to say? ¿Qué quiere decir? Example. Um, a question: Could you close the door? Uh -huh. um, answer yes at this moment. In this moment. Right away. Uh, right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You're doing great. For affirmative mm -hmm. or negative. Do you have any question before I leave? Mm. No. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Go ahead, Alba. Estaría bien. Could you, could you take me to the supermarket? Could you take me to the supermarket? Great. Pod podría llevarme al supermercado. Mm -hmm. Excellent. La paja. I'm tired. <laughs> Whatever you want. So remember, four negative or affirmative. Doing great. Okay. Pero, okay. Yeah. Yeah, what? Pero si se Try dice, could you be my home? Uh -huh. Podría llevar a mi right? casa. Sorry. Entonces, uh -huh. could, could you, you give me? Could you give me? Give me right to my no. home? Yes, but it's more natural to say, could you take me home? Uh, take me home. Could you take me? Okay. Se escucha feo. Yeah, you have to get used to it. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, next, next time. time. Mm -hmm. Could you take me at home? How many affirmatives do you have? Uh, ah, yeah. Four and four, yeah, finish. Okay. Um, in this case, Carla and Ed, it is not could you yeah. take me at home? It is. At Home. Could you take me home? No at. Ah, could you take me home? Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you take me home? Right. Try to come up with your own answers. You can use the ones I gave you, but try to come up. Que salga de ustedes. Try to come up with new answers. If you're already finished, mm -hmm. then try to get a couple more. Mm, okay. the, the thing is for you to practice and practice and practice and practice. Great okay. job. Let me check another group. Sure. I work at 8 p.m. 8 a.m. Podemos ponerle también. Sure. Uh, I work. Oh, the, I work. I am. Pero hay que At ponerle esta Monday. Alta. ¿Cómo no entendí que dijo? Ahora hubiera sido la pregunta. ¿Cómo te espero? You start work. Ah, sure. Do. I start work no. at 8 a.m. At 5 a.m. 5 p.m. <laughs> How many affirmative do you have? How many negative? Uh, no, ten. Ten. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Es que pregunta, ¿cuál es tu horario de, de, de trabajo? Could you tell me your work schedule? Schedule. Schedule. Um, yeah. Schedule. Sorry. Muy amplia la respuesta. Sorry, next time. The thing is this: could, can, could, ya tenemos que regresar, pero bueno, uh, tenemos un minuto. Could se puede ocupar para muchas cosas. En este caso, solo se está eh, ocupando para polite request. Ok, esa pregunta, don Alfonso, podría ser, digamos, no sé, es muy específica, como que recursos humanos le pregunte. Usted está aplicando para la visa, no sé, y le preguntan, ¿Could you tell me your schedule? Ahí sí, le están pidiendo, pero el contexto es bien, demasiado específico. Mm -hmm. Pero le podemos decir, eh, sorry, I change frequency. Como cambia, con, o sea, lo siento, porque cambia frecuentemente, pues. Sí, pero nuevamente no es, no es como, como les podría decir, el contexto ¿Cómo? está muy rebuscado. No es adecuado para que ustedes ah, lo okay. practiquen. Me podrías abrir la puerta, me podrías okay. prestar 10 pesos, me podrías llevar al súper, me podrías lavar la ropa, me podrías... Uh, no ah, sé. es que nosotros habíamos hecho más, más del trabajo. So, give me, um, give me a number. One to six, guys. Five. Five. One, two, or three. Two. Miriam, give me an example in affirmative and in negative. Please, could you give me an example in negative and one affirmative? Could, positive. Uh -huh. could you give me a case? 
Okay. Eh, respuesta. No problem. Nice. Negative. Could you take me to work tomorrow? Respuesta. Sorry, next time. Oh, okay. But I can choose, so, but that's okay. It's fine. Great job, Miriam. Now, you can also say answer. As respuesta se dice answer. Say with me, please. Answer. 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 Yes, ma'am. Great example. Answer. Miriam, give me a number. Uh, One three? to six. Three. One, two, or three. Three. So, Jose Antonio, affirmative and negative. Okay. Uh, could you wash the dishes? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't. Uh -huh. Nice. Now, an affirmative, please. Could you lend me money? No problem. Ay, of course. Okay, great. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Uh, give me a number, Jose Antonio. One to six, except the ones you guys already mentioned, which is five and three. Uh, four. Four. One, two, or three. Jose Antonio. Two. <laughs> two. Mariana. Formative and negative. Negative. Affirmative and negative. Ah, okay, okay. Could you lend me 10 bucks? Sorry, next time. Good, thank you. Do you guys know the meaning of bucks? B U C K S? Billete dinero, dólares. De estos verdecitos. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, ha I have to make a payment. Okay, so let's continue. Difícil para que vengan y para que se vayan. Aha, so box is, a, is an informal way of saying money. Okay, uh, another one. Um, could you pay me my lunch? Absolutely. Nice, very good. Okay, good. Like you. But, um, Pay me my lunch. Sería más, más mejor y menos peor decir, could you buy me lunch? Oh, could you okay. buy me? ¿Me podrías comprar el almuerzo? Así en buena onda. Okay, great. So, um, give me a number one, one, two, three. One. Daisy, go for it. Oh, uh, Daisy, I am so sorry you... to stop you. Could you give me a second while I take attendance? ¿Me puede dar un minutito mientras tomo la asistencia? Yes, yes, right. yes, it is. Let's do it, guys. Uh, Alba Noemí Cortés de González. Oh. Wake up, William. Alba. ¿Es lista o es pregunta? ¿Lista? Ah, o sea, que se pregunta. Se ¿Qué pregunta es la señal? Right. No hay que dude. Present. Ya, yeah, guys. Alba estaba muy malita y aún así está dando lo mejor de ella. Thank you, Alba. All right. Ana María Checón de García. Present. Carly Ivane Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Lisset Canales de Enriquez. No, present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Inet Amaya Zuera. Present. Carla María Quintanilla Vélez. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. <risa> Miren. Present teacher. Thank you. Natalia Carolina González. Present teacher. Ren Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Ren María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabel Tin Castro. Present. 
Sandra Elisa Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. William. Okay. Present. Man, stand up. You're going to fall asleep that way. Okay. Go for it, Daisy. Will you pass me two books? Sure. In a second. Could you lend me your pencil? Sorry, I don't have. I don't have any. I don't have any. Uh -huh. Great, good job, excellent. Number one, two, or three? Three. Catherine. Go, girl. Could you help me in my task? Sure. And negative, could you prepare the coffee for everyone? Sorry, I can't. Okay, nice. That's a lot of work preparing coffee for everybody. Perfect. Any questions, guys? Speak now. Be quiet forever. Alguna pregunta? Mm. Is the correct say it is a pleasure or with pleasure? It's, yeah, you can say my pleasure. Okay. My pleasure. That's another way of answering in a formal way. My pleasure. No es que sea de verdad un placer. Oh, estoy de un café. Pero sí es como eso. Como un gusto. Uh -huh. All right. So. Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Uh -huh. Maybe later. All right. Now, the next one, as you can see, I'm not really following the book that much. So you can get all confused. And uh, what I want you to pay attention is next, guys. Repeat after me, please. Woo. 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 Would you mind? 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 Calling the plant manager. Calling the plant manager. Calling the plant manager. Right away. Right away. Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? Would you, Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR with for me? The HR. Mm, I wouldn't use the here. With okay. HR for me. With HR for me. Would you mind getting an appointment with HR for me? In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Would you mind, mind, mind sending this box to the department? In the department. department. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, okay, so what do you think the structure is, guys? What can I get the structure? Wall. Wall. Mind. Subject. Subject. Vaya, acuérdense que está muy bien que sea el sujeto, pero por cuestiones de que lo practiquen en frase y sea más fácil, vamos con would you mind de un solo. And then? Okay. Per, 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 Plus? Complement. Complement. Plus? Question mark. So, guys. The only difference with this is that instead of using the base form like in the other one, you use the gerund. Two different ways of asking the same. Dos maneras diferentes para preguntar lo mismo. La única diferencia es que aquí, obviamente, la frase cambia. Y después de would you mind, cualquier acción que queramos hacer va con ING. All right? So... Las respuestas son las mismas, se pueden ocupar las mismas, pero la forma de preguntar cambia, ¿ok? So, what are the ones that you remember with could? ¿Cuáles se, se acuerdan con could? Could. Uh -huh. De las que could. dijeron sus compañeros. Could. Could you give me a coffee? Ok, could you give me a coffee? So, ¿cómo la pasamos a esto? Would you mind giving me a coffee? Me a coffee. So, en vez de ocupar el could you give me, 
Vamos con would you mind y el verbo ing. ¿Ven la diferencia? O ya en Es más como, no, este es como más formal, ¿no? O es más suavecito. Sí, sí. Yeah, we can, we can say that way. Soft. But it is the same thing. Como pedirlo más cortésmente. Es que aquí es como te importaría, algo así, allá es como podrías. Yo yeah. creo que podría es más de confianza y te importarías más. Yeah, yeah, well, you can say it that way. Mm -hmm. It is more polite. Mm -hmm. More polite. All right. Um, can you lend me $10? Would you mind, Would you mind, le Would you mind lend $10? $10. So, as you can see, the structure prácticamente solo tiene una oración diferente y el verbo ING. Right? La idea es la misma. ¿Te importaría darme un ejemplo? Would you mind, Would you mind me a example? Giving me Would you mind example? Give me giving me an example? An example. An example. Would you mind opening, opening, the, opening door? the door? Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you mind giving me an example? Would you mind opening the door? Would you mind closing the window? Would you mind closing the window? Would you mind close the window or closing? Closing, closing. closing the window. Closing, closing the window. Mm -hmm. One window. more. Would you mind sending the sending the email? Nice. Would you mind sending the email? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more. Would, would, would you mind buying an work? apple? Buying? Buying. What? Buying what? An apple. An apple. An apple. Okay. Would an you mind buying an apple? iPhone or iPad? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you mind? Would okay. You mind Any questions? Going to the supermarket. Would you mind going to the supermarket? Excellent. Do you have any questions, guys? No, teacher. No, for me? No. Now, si ustedes se fijan en esta clase, he sido mucho más directo por el tema. Ok, no, no tanto gramática base, aquí es práctica. La frase, el verbo y su complemento. So, guys, let's do something right now. Let's go back to the group. I wanted to do the same. For in negative, for in affirmative. Different sentences. ¿Estamos? I'm going to give you 10 minutes for this and we go back so we can practice. Any questions? Teacher, son las mismas respuestas. Sí. That's ah, a good okay. question. Pueden poner las mismas respuestas. Okay. okay. How many Thank affirmative? Four. Four. How many negative? Four. 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 Is it the same? Es lo mismo, prácticamente? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know what to do. You got 10 minutes. Go for it. Carly and Miriam, did you get an invite? Mean. Mind. What do you mean? Mind. Mind. Ah, perdón. No ponga triste. What do you mean? I'll be back, guys. Let me get something real quick. Okay. Would you mind? Would you mind? I'm reading. 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 I'm re
yo, yo puse una reunión would you mind having would you mind having a meeting uh -huh. miren esta, esta está bien would you mind giving give me a water a water ajá voy a pasar el agua no ¿Cómo podría darme agua? Uh -huh. Está bien. Y una respuesta. Sí, respuesta igual en la que hicimos anteriormente. Es la que nos dio él, lo de la respuesta. ¿Cómo pusiste? ¿Cómo dijiste? ¿Cómo dijiste? Ahí en el chat se lo puse. Could you mind giving me a water? Ah, va. You can just say water. Okay. Would water. you mind giving me water? Mm -hmm. water. Would you mind giving me a water? A water. Just water. Would you mind mm. giving me water? Would you mind giving me a water? No. Ah. Water. Mm -hmm. Sing ah. So, would you mind giving me water? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Would you? Ya la borré. Would you mind giving me water? Great job. Yes. Okay. Give me a water. Sure. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sure. Absolutely. La fuerza va en la U. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ajá. Uh -huh. Good. Good. Bueno. Would, would you, would you, mind, would you mind lending me cell phone? Your the cell phone? phone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Continue. Would you... Mind speaking loud. You talking, talking, talking soft. Me salió a mí. Talking soft. Uh -huh. Talking soft. No sé. <laughs> Está bien. Would you mind talking soft? Hablar suave. Hablar bajito. Uh -huh. oh, would you mind speaking? Oh, okay. Speaking. Quietly, perhaps. ¿Me escuchan? Tengo problemas de sonido. Hoy sí, creo que ya está regresando. Por gusto, estos testigo. Por gusto, pago un 50 megas. Continue. Okay. Este, no. How would you mind preparing you mind? breakfast? Esa es la que dije yo, ¿me escucharon? No, no, no escuchamos. Nada, escucharon, ya, ya, pero ya, ya estuvo. Vaya, would you mind preparing okay. breakfast? Preparing Breakfast. ¿Verdad que no se le pone el día de breakfast, teacher? Uh, sí? No necesariamente. Would you mind preparing breakfast? Ok. Esa era siempre afirmativa, ¿verdad? Esa es la sí. última afirmativa. Sí. Sí, es la última. Eh, quiero Give ver. Give me a second. No sé. Give me a second. Nice. Any questions? No. Eh, si quiero poner, por ejemplo, with we mind, este, está bien. El, sub, el subject, would we, we mind, o sea, de nosotros les importaría, ¿cómo se diría les importaría? No decir te importaría. En plural. The thing is that if you're included, you're not going to say that way, no lo vas a hacer. Ok. Ahí es una pregunta. Este, tú, hay tú. que hacer de otra manera. ¿Qué quieres preguntar? What no, por ejemplo, ask? les importaría acercarse, no sé. Como cuando uno está, está eh, vaya, acerquémonos. Eh, ¿Les importaría acercarse un poco para que me escuchen mejor o cosas así? Would you mind uh, stepping forward, perhaps? Siempre sería con you porque te estás ah. de, dirigiendo a alguien más. Ah, ah, ok, ok. Ahora, casi siempre va con, con, con you. Ok. Eh, porque si tú me decís, would he mind? Ajá, es que eso es lo que vi, se escucha raro. Yo te dijera, a él know. le importaría. I don't know, go ahead and ask. Uh -huh. why, why are you asking me? Talk to him. 
Keep it up, guys. In your car. In your car, okay. Usted repitiendo el you. In your car. Your car. Uh -huh. so what, is car. The, what is the question, guys? What is the question? Could you mind, could you mind taking me in your car? Um, yeah, no. te portaría llevarme tu auto, pero ahí la pregunta es, ¿a dónde? Depende. Si tú me decís, ¿te importaría llevarme tu audio? Uh, ¿Qué onda ahí? ¿A dónde? Right? So, would you mind taking me to and your destination? Mm, okay. Taking me mm -hmm. to the beach, Sure. Okay. Mm. Um. Will Will she mean keeping? Keep it. Keep it, decir? keep it with you. Sing con you. No, no me tengo otro sujeto ahorita. Ah, ok. Ok. How many do you have? How many examples do you have, guys? Will you... ¿Cuántos tienen? How many do you have? Ah, four. No, okay. three more. All right, keep it up. I'm going to give you five more minutes. Ok. Uh, show me, give me one, please. Deme lo que tienen ahorita, por favor. Would you mean even me yourself? Your? You... Again, please. Would you mean print printing the chair? Yes, and it's going to be mine. Pronunciation mine. Would you would mean you stopping mind. by the pharmacy? Yes. Would you mind? Everybody repeat after me, please. Mind. Mind. Would you mind? Mind. 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 Mm -hmm. You just got five minutes, guys. Keep it up. Okay. Any question, you can ask for my help, okay? Okay. Coronavirus. Mm. Coronavirus. Yes. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> okay. Entonces, the last one. Would you mind working with me in the park? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, and the other. Would you? Would you mind teaching me English? Of course. Mm -hmm. All right, you don't need any help. Keep it up. Great job. Bye. Okay. Would you Bye. mind doing my homework? Do doing. You got four minutes. Continue. Doing doing. Ah, my sorry. Homework. Doing. Do. I don't hear me. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, Hector, would you mind sitting with me at lunch? Absolutely. Miriam, would you mind calling to, to my mother? Calling my mother. Yes. Calling yes, my yes. mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. And negative? No, no question, teacher. 
Okay. And Negari, um, would you mind take taking me to my house? Sorry, I can. All right. Uh, guys, just following up the pronunciation is mind. 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 Now, mine. terminemos con la de, guys, porque yo estoy escuchando mind. Miren cómo me queda la boca. Mind. Termino con la mine. N. Hay que subir la, la, la lengua en la D de David. 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 Mind. Uh -huh. Mind. ¿Eh? Mind. Y la lengua mine. de la última D es la que nos da el sonido. Mind. 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 Vamos. Mind. Mucho mejor. Mind. Great. Continue. Let me check the last group. See you in two minutes. Bye. How are you doing, guys? How are you doing, guys? Hi, teacher. They're doing well. You finished? Would you mind eating fish for dinner? Almost. For mm -hmm. dinner. For, for dinner. Dale, dinner, dinner, dinner. Um, mm -hmm. For dinner. Dijimos que íbamos a poner que no nos gustaba. Ajá, unfortunately. 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 Eh, I like it. Or no. I don't like it. Ay, sí, porque no te estamos diciendo que no nos gusta. Entonces, mm -hmm. No. I, am, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. Ahí está. I don't like it. Like mm -hmm. it. I don't like it. Okay. Would you mind attending a convention in San Miguel? Yes. Mind. Sure. Yeah. Huh? Pronunciation, mind. Would you mind? My, uh, my. Would you Termina mind? con la última D de David. Mind. Mind. Attending a convention in San Miguel. Yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. um, would you mind? Negativas. Don't... Sí, would you mind? Mm -hmm. Helping with my hunger. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> no puedo. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't. Mm -hmm. Would you mind sleeping in the garage? Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> what did you do? Mm. All right, guys. So real quick here. Guys, one, two, or three. Two. Rene. Negative and affirmative, please. Hey. And guys, you are going to tell me if it's correct or incorrect, okay? Okay. Uh, when you mean going with me to room? No, thanks. <laughs> okay. It's correct. All right. Yes, it's correct. All right. Next one, the affirmative, please. Could you mean giving me water? Okay, good. Guys, is that correct? Just the pronunciation. Yes. Uh -huh. It's correct, but just the pronunciation. Exactly. So this is something that everybody is doing. It is not natural for us, but you're going to say mind. 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 Mm, okay. Mind. Mind. Let me help you with this pronunciation, because whenever you say mind, Mine. Your last Mine. sound is the N. Mine. Su último Mine. sonido está siendo la N, guys. Y el último sonido tiene Mine. que ser la D. Espérense. Mine. Mine. So, el último sonido, guys, tiene que ser la D de David. Y nada Mine. más es bien sutil. Solo subimos y ponemos Mine. la... Espérense, Dios santo. Ya van a tener como tres minutos para hacer eso. So, 
tienen que subir la última D como la D de, de David. Muchos sí, David, vení. Right? También en español nos lo comemos, pero tiene, no a David, sino a David. Entonces, la última D de, de David y la lengua queda topada en los dientes de oído. David, dedo. Como que somos niños, empezamos a buscar palabras con D para que entendamos dónde ponemos la, la lengua. Dedo, Daisy, Domingo, el que le gusta, do. So, la D va para arriba. David. No digo David, que la lengua me queda atrás. Digo David. 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 Todos conmigo. David. 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 Sobre la lengua con los dientes David. de atrás. David. 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 Ahora en inglés, porque es clase de inglés. David. 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 Mind. 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 So, Mind. the last tip that I can give you for this, este fonema les va a funcionar para todo lo que termine en D, casi. Mind. Háganlo conmigo y dejémoslo en la N. Ustedes pueden hacer este sonido hasta que se queden sin aire, ¿ok? Démosle conmigo, con N, no le metan la D. Mind. 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 Mine. 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 Right. Pueden mantenerlo. Ahora vamos a mantenerlo y de pronto vamos a subir la lengua como la D de David y van a ver que ya no pueden mantener el sonido, se les empiezan a inflar los cachetes. Ok, so vamos aquí. <laughs> Don't do it yourself, just let me do it. Ok, so mine. 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 Muy bien. Mind. ¿Ven cómo la D de, detiene el sonido de la N? Y ya no puede Mind. continuar la N. Mind. 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 Ok, so mind. everybody with me. Would you mind? Would you mind? Mind. 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 Nice, Would you great mind? improvement. Mind. Would you mind repeating? Would you mind, mind. mind. You mind. You mind. repeating? Excellent, mind. great job. Remember David. That's a cool dude. Ok, um, thank you very much, Daisy. Okay. Give me a number, one, two, or three. One. Fernando, go for it. Okay. Uh, uh, would you mind playing soccer with me? Nice. Answer? Yes. Uh, absolutely. Correct or incorrect? Uh, correct. 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 Negative? Uh, uh, would you mind going to supermarket? Sorry, I can't. Uh -huh. Correct. 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 That's right. Good job, Fernando. One, two, or three? Uh, three. Jose Antonio. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Affirmative and negative. Would you mind printing the check? The check? The check. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yes. Bueno, ya contesté yo, perdón, la costumbre. Next one. Could you mind taking me for work? To work. Ah, uh, to work. Taking me to work. Uh -huh. Answer. I'm sorry. Sorry, I am late. Uh -huh. Nice, way better. Good job. Nice, excellent. Volunteer guys. Two volunteers, please. Me, Sandra. Go ahead, Sandra. Would you mind? Uh -huh. Sandra? Okay. Would you mind attending a convention in San Miguel? Yes, sure. Correct Negative. or incorrect? Can right? you repeat, please? Correct. Would you mind attending a convention in San Miguel? And the answer? Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Correct or incorrect, guys? Oh, sure. Uh -huh. Only sure. Exactly. Yes. Only sure. Okay. Great job. Only sure. 
Uh, would you mind getting too early at work? Sorry, I can't. <laughs> correct or incorrect? It's correct. correct. Yeah, it's just correct. eliminate two. Two. Getting too early, just getting early. Okay, mm -hmm. two. And Carlevania? Okay. Would you mind stopping by the pharmacy? Ray away. Guys? It's correct. Yes, it's correct. correct. Thank you, Sabrina. What about the rest of you guys? You see, you all, all you know, falling asleep and stuff, and it's only Monday. Uh huh. Carly, the next one. Good job. Negative. Um, yeah. Would you mind by biting the dog? Biting the dog. Biting the dog. Um, no, 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 I can. Okay, guys. Yes, it's correct. Okay, All thank right. you very much for participating. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, good job, Carlos Maria. This is lunes, guys. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do now. Um, now I want you to put it in context. Okay, you're going to create a conversation and you're going to include two could you and two would you. Okay, now okay. Give it in, háganlo en contexto, no vayan como pregunta tras pregunta, sino que denle un contexto, digamos que vamos a la playa, no sé, eh, te importaría comprar la carne, no tengo pisto, comprar la voz, etc. Ah, fíjate que, espérame, le voy a decir a mi tío, tío, me podrías prestar unos 10 pesos, right? En el mismo contexto tiramos las cuatro preguntas para que le demos seguimiento. Y podamos meter el, 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 el chuchito esto. So, you're going to have 10 minutes, guys. En 10 minutos regresamos a tomar asistencia. Regresamos por otros 5 minutos para que terminen de darle forma. Y luego lo presentamos. ¿Ok? Ok. So, okay. Dos y dos. Démosle. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Entonces ya empezamos allí a hacernos las preguntas. De, okay. Por ejemplo, Natalia, nat, 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 es Natalia con F. Pero dime, Natalia, me okay. no, Estoy acostumbrado. Yes, William. <risa> Could you. Um, hijo, dos y dos, ¿verdad? Dos de call y dos de. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Quién va a iniciar entonces la conversación? Eh, si vale, hagamos toda la conversación por si nos pregunta, la tenemos. Ah, vale, y, y después ya nos repartimos. Uh -huh. Ok. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Are you ready for the trip this weekend? Y todos contestamos. Yes, I'm ready. Sure. Yes, sure. ¿O cómo, ¿Cómo vamos a contestar? No, yes, sure, no, es incorrect. Oh, yes, ajá, cierto. Solo es sure. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a poner? Eh, sí, estamos listos como los Boy Scouts. Ajá, siempre Ay, listos. Sí. Yes, I read. <risa> yes, I read. Yes, I read. Bye, eh, es de un viaje, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, podríamos poner... Yes, ¿Viste qué sería eh, este fin de semana o cómo lo Ajá, Sí, este fin de semana. This weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are ready, Val. Mm -hmm. huh? Ready. Yes, we are ready. Y ahí vamos a empezar. Natalia, could you buy in? Could you buy in the solas? Pero, ¿por qué no mencionamos mejor a dónde vamos a ir o algo así para medio hacer el contexto? 
Ok, ¿qué vamos a poner entonces? ¿A dónde vamos a ir? Um, Guys, also pay attention to could you buying. Remember, could is with base, would is with ing, with gen. Careful with that. Keep it up. Oh, sí, could yeah. you es con el verbo normal. Right. Keep it up. Entonces sería, could we have, could we have a ping me tomorrow? Sería al revés. Yep. Could we have. Uh -huh. could, could we have a picnic tomorrow? Entonces, no sé qué. We have a picnic tomorrow. Uh -huh. A picnic tomorrow. Esa es la pregunta que yo. ¿Quién me va a responder? Miriam. Sí, es buena idea. Sí, es buena idea. Of course, of course. La, of la course. respuesta es que. Of course. Sí. Yes. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, y vos puedes responder, Héctor. Quiero ver. Pero ya deberíamos de ir metiendo la... Pues, sí, ¿no? a, a eso vamos, a, hacer, a formular una... una... ¿Cómo diría Carly? ¿Mariana? Yo, absolutely. ¿Y Carlos? Yo, no, I can't. Uh, but, ¿qué? But, I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I have. Okay. I have a boyfriend. Eh, I have a boyfriend. Vale, entonces, ahí te puedo decir yo, o sea, como, no sé, could, we, could, could you ask? Could you ask for your permission? No, could you ask him for your... Uh -huh. Could you ask him for uh -huh, permission? Him for could you ask him for permission? Uh, to boyfriend, sorry. That's it. No, because you already have him. Ah, ah, him. ah okay, okay. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, ¿qué haría? Could, yeah. could, you, could you ask him? Permission. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Could you ask her permission? Sería, would you mind going to a camp? A ir a campar? Yes. Going camping. Going camping. Oh, going camping. Mm -hmm. To mind going camping. That's right. Mm -hmm. Camping. Después de, después de going, ¿qué iría? Going camping. Camping. Mm -hmm. camping. Well, your mind going camping. Tú. Y ahí podría contestar Alba. Sure. Um, teacher, podemos mm -hmm. usar just no question o solo. No, yeah, yeah. Whenever it's conversation, you can say whatever you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí podría decir Alba, ¿a qué horas? O. Oh, o a qué lugar, no sé. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, what time? Or sure, when? Podría ser... Um, Pero aquí creo que, que, como dijo José, él empezaría a preguntar, ¿qué llevaríamos, José? 
Sí. Usted dijo, ¿verdad? Que, que le preguntaría a Carla si podría ella llevar, no sé, la tienda. La tienda, la tienda en campaña. Ok. The job, guys, keep it up. Sería... Go to the stadium with me. ¿O te gustaría ir conmigo al estadio? Ajá, ahí es donde entraría. What time is the game? At 3 p.m. Eh, eh, what do you mind? Mind. What do you mind? Mm -hmm. mind? What do you mind? Go to eh, the study. Mm -hmm. Would you mind go or would you mind going? Going. 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 Could, could you mind going? Would you mind going? Sí, the noche. study. Es de noche. Sí. A, a ver, es de noche. Would you mind going? Going. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí me contestan. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, y, y se puede decir, eh, could you tell me what time it will be? Yeah. Sí. ¿A qué hora será el partido? Sí. ¿Podrías yeah. decirme a qué hora será el partido? Sí. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí, ah, la puedo yeah. Could you tell me what time it is? Could you, could you tell me what time it is? Correct. Okay. Cool. What time? What time? It is. Yep. Okay. Así ahí no solo pregunta con. Y ahí podemos. At three p.m. At at 3 p.m. Bien. Sure, at 3 p.m. 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 Esa M de ahí sí. Hay que practicarla. Ahí no. ¿Cómo Me cuesta la M, ok. M. 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 P.m. Ajá, ahí. Ahí. Am. Correct. Ok. Vaya, eh, ahí, sí puede, ahí sí podemos preguntar ya. Eh, ¿Te importaría ir conmigo al estadio? Ajá. Da, ajá, que te está ahí entre la voz y me doy guay. Me to estadio. Estadio. All right, guys, let's take attendance real quick so we can go back to business. Álvaro Mí Cortés de González. Gracias. Ana María Chicón de García. Ana María. Carla Ivana Cabrera Susana. Carla Ivana. Present teacher. Carla Luis Cercano de Enriquez. No, present. Daisy Marcela González Cajura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cobías Hernández. Present. Carla Eneta Maya Herrera. Present. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miren, la, 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 la. Miguel Ángel Pasón de Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Elena María Isabel Alberto Chávez. Present. Sabrina María Sabrina Mabel Otín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Gomero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Alrighty, guys. So, did you finish? No. Not yet. Okay. You got five more minutes. Make sure you finish and you practice and practice and practice as fast as you can. Go for it, my friends. Five more minutes and we'll come back.
Did you get the invite, the invite guys? Chacon, Rina? No, Rina's not there. Restaurants. Mm. Some restaurants. Yeah, restaurants. Estaba muteado. Este yeah. sería para los dos, recordar. Ajá. Solo me sí, está me dijiste mi nombre, tiene que ser para los dos de un solo. Va, entonces, lo mismo. Va, Eso es lo que no digas mi nombre. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Va, good, va. Hi, guys. Today is my birthday. Could you invite me some restaurants? Tus, ajá. Sure, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Catherine. Sorry, I don't have money. Uh, Catherine, would you come in with us? ¿Cómo sería, cómo sería en sin importar que no tenga dinero? Would, Entonces, you, would you be? Uh, that's a little bit different. Would uh, you be coming? Would you, would you be, be coming? coming? Mm -hmm. Be. Would you be and then coming with ing would you be coming with us would you be coming with us mm -hmm. okay that's a little bit particular uh, okay. okay 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 go the problem seria uh -huh. mm -hmm. you uh, carla eh yo que te iba a decir ah sí va va fernando <laughs> would you would you buy a wine 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 that's it mm -hmm. Uh, oh, wow. Sorry, I not drink alcohol. Okay, nice. I not or I don't? I don't, perdón. I don't drink alcohol. Okay, Fernando, Wait, keep it up. I still have time. Keep it up. Fernando, would you pay in the Uber? <laughs> no, I take them in my car. Okay. okay. ¿Cómo okay. sería decir que la llevo en mi carro? Can I? I can yo la puedo llevar o yo la llevo. I'll take you in my car. I I take you mm -hmm. okay. I'll for the will. I'll, I'll take you in my okay. car. I take you my car. I'll take my car. Yes, you yes. would you mean buying the tickets? Uh, mean yeah. or mine? Mine. Uh -huh. Mine. Mine. Yes, great. Mine. Buying the ticket. Mm -hmm. Buying the tickets, okay. Uh -huh. Would a day before the answer. It's mine. Mm -hmm. Would you mind buying? Do you buy the ticket a day before? Buying. 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 Mm -hmm. Buying. Buying the ticket. Buying the ticket a day before. Entonces, baby, so ahí me contestar, no, so, no, sorry, I can't. No, sorry, I can't. Oh, sorry, I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, uh -huh. sorry, sorry, I can't. Mm -hmm. I do it. Así, te pruebo a preguntar, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing Yes, yes. Las puede, las podemos practicar antes, niño. Okay. Vaya. Could you tell me when is the final of the Alianza and the Águila? Yes, it's Sunday. Could you tell me what time it is? Uh, Will you make going to the stadium? Stadium? Yes, of yes. course. Yes. Would okay. you mind? Would you mind giving giving me a water? This no. water, sin el a. Guardes, sin el a. Giving me oh, water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ese es el que seguía. No. Eh, no. So let's get it done. Let's start with Chacon, Natalia, Sandra, and William. Go. Okay. Hello, guys. Are you ready for the trip this weekend? Yes. Yes, we are ready. Sure, sure. 
Where are we going to go? Where I where are going to mountain? Guys, we need some food. Sandra, could you buy some chicken and potato for everybody? Absolutely. And Natalie, could you bring the drink? Sure, no problem. Ana Maria, could you bring the crema? Of course. William, would you mind picking me up? Sorry, I can't. Maybe next time. Oh, finish. And that's finish. it. Finish. All right, great, great. Simple, mm -hmm. but straight to the point. I liked it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Next, Hector, Miriam, Sabrina, go. Hi, guys. I have an idea. Could we have a picnic tomorrow? Of course. Yes. Of course. Could you bring the fruits for the picnic? No problem. Sabrina, could you mind taking the snack? Absolutely. Hector, would you mind drinking the drink? Sorry, I can. Okay, Sabrina and Miriam, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Nice, clear and concise, guys. Um, the only thing that I would add is I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, okay. How do you say tengo una idea? I have an idea. Exactly. Thank you, Carla Maria. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Next. Let me see. Oh, speaking of the devil, that's an expression, guys. Como... Hablando del diablo. Ah, sí, pero de todo del diablo. Right? De Roma. Sí, pero sin el mal sentido. Okay. Carla María. Estábamos, oh. Estaba hablando con Carla, Carla estaba participando y de pronto, pum, es su grupo. Entonces, como ya estaba hablando de ella, ustedes pueden decir, speaking of the devil. Right? No es que ella sea un diablo, no sé, hay que preguntarle a sus amigos, familiares o pareja. Pero, speaking of the devil is, hablando de la persona que estábamos hablando. So, Carla well, María, Mariana y Miguel, go. Okay. Girl, yeah, good to see you. I have an invitation for you. Would you would you mind going to the movies with with me? Absolutely. No, I can't, but I have a boyfriend. Carla, go you ask him permission. No problem. Uh, what movie are we going to see? Um, let's see Batman. Mariana, will, will you mind buying me ticket? Sure, no problem, Carla. Okay. And Mariana, could you buy me the popcorn? Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, do you buy popcorn? Yes, I do. Okay, girls, my love's a pleasure. Uh, see you on Sunday at the movies. Okay. okay, see you. Great. Round of applause, guys. <laughs> Excellent. I like the new the new answer. Uh, don't even think about it, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Good. The only thing that I would change here or, or help you with is in this one, could you ask him for permission? Ask for. And the other one, you said, I can't, but I have a boyfriend. But is a negative. El but va, es un, uh, un contraste. Si, usted dije, si ustedes dijeron I can't, es negativo, ya tiene que venir algo positivo. Es como, no puedo, pero le voy a preguntar. Un contraste. Ahí dijo, no puedo, pero tengo novio. Entonces es, mm, se le puede quitar, no puedo, tengo novio. All right. Good job, guys. Next, Alba, Carla, José, go for it. Hi, Alba. Hi, Ivania. How are you? Hi, Jose. Nice. Hi, Jose. Good. Girls, I have a good idea. 
Would you mind going camping with me? Sure. Jose, when? When? Jose. Oh, when we go to Pital, Chalatenango. Okay, no, no problem. Jose, could you stop by me? Oh, sure. Jose, what do you mean bring, bring, bring breakfast? <laughs> No problem. Okay. Okay, I see you. Okay. Bien emocionado. Bye. Okay, great job, guys. Bye. Fantastic. Now, um, lo que les puedo decir de esto es que nunca se detuvieron, lo siguieron intentando y van bien. Es un poquito de cosas, como por ejemplo, te preguntaron cuándo y dijiste cómo, dónde. Cositas que se van a veces por el mismo nerviosismo, pero me gustó el hecho de que lo siguieron intentando. Um, si sí quisiera poner aquí, cuando dijeron stop by me, prácticamente es pick me up. ¿No podrías venir a recoger? Pick me up. All right? okay. De lo contrario, okay. súper bien. Um, Fernando, Carla, Catherine, go. Yeah. Ok. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, today is my, it's my birthday. Will you invite me some restaurant? Sure. Sorry, I don't have money. Uh, Catherine, would you mind be coming with us? Okay, go. Okay, uh, one hour later. <laughs> uh, Fernando, would you buy wine? Sorry, I don't drink alcohol. Two hours later, <laughs> Fernando, <laughs> would you mind paying the Uber? No, I'll take it in my car. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> okay, great. Nice. A night out. Night out. Night out is como una noche. Sí, de selling out. That's it. All right. Invite me some restaurant. Invitame a un restaurante. ¿Cuál te compro? Uh, it doesn't really work that way. So we can say, take me to a restaurant. Llévame a un restaurante. Okay? Ah. Take me to a restaurant. Now, okay. um, siempre trato de hacer como que, sí, a veces esos comentarios pueden causar gracia, pueden caer mal. No es por burlarme de ustedes, pero sino que, ah, ¿te acordás la vez que quería invitarlo a un restaurante? Y me acuerdo que es take me to. Simplemente para que vayan asociando, right? Así que está permitido, en mi opinión, reírse de los errores, no de la persona. A veces uno se acuerda. <laughs> la vez que dije. <laughs> y se acuerda, ¿verdad? Right? Vale. So the last one, guys, Daisy and Rina. Go for it. Okay. Could you tell me when is the last time you went to the final of Alianza en Águila? It is Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> Could you, could you tell me what time it is? Sure, at 3 p.m. Would you mind going with me to a stadium? No, sorry, I I can't. Would yes. you mind? But <laughs> <laughs> si quiere a la siguiente René <laughs> ok well you may, uh, Daisy well you may, may buy you the ticket a day before no sorry I can't and you Rina sure ah, ok we, we, we will <laughs> 
my student money. <laughs> All right, yeah, round of applause. Great. So you are overcoming. So guys, thank you very much uh, for your efforts. Remember, it's not only the class. Practice at home. Do your homework. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Great job. Get out of here. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night, I see you tomorrow.